Good morning, respected dignitaries, teachers, and participants. We have assembled here for the guest lecture of Dr. Anand Swaroop. He will be sharing his insights into the human retina development, disease modeling, treatment paradigms from stem cell derived 3D organoids. This program is jointly organized by the Department of Molecular and Human Genetics, Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences, and Ayurveda Network, Faculty of Ayurveda, BHU. I, on the behalf of the team, welcome you all to this honorable and prestigious gathering. Our guest speaker for the day, Dr. Anand Swaroop, is a renowned scientist at National Eye Institute, NIH, working in the field of photoreceptor dysfunction in retinal neurodegeneration. I now request the volunteers to kindly come uh, forward and offer the bouquet to the guest. We are also privileged to have our Honorable Director, Professor A.K. Tripathi, as the guest of honor for the program. I request the volunteers to extend bouquet to our uh, guest of honor. Thank you, Professor Tripathi, to be a part of this program. I extend heartiest welcome to our Professor Gopeshwar Narayan, HOD, Department of Molecular and Human Genetics. <laughs> Professor Madhulika Agarwal, Director, ISLS Life Science uh, Pro, and uh, Department of Institute of Life Science. And we are also privileged to have uh, Professor B.N. Singh, Professor Lakotia, and uh, Professor Vai Singh uh, from Delhi University and eminent guest fac faculties uh, to who have joined us for this event. Distinguished speaker of the day, Dr. Anand Swaroop. Coordinator, Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences, Professor Madhulika Agrawal, Head Department of Molecular and Human Genetics, Professor Gopeshwar Narayan, very distinguished Professor uh, <coughs> Yogendra Singh from Delhi University, very kind of you to have come and join this meeting, Professor Lakotia, Professor Vian Singh, my esteemed colleagues and dear students. I'm very delighted to be here this morning to see that we are going to have a very distinguished person speaking before all of us and sharing his experience. This is uh, an activity which is commensurate with our aspirations of excellence. The, we all know that our university has been recognized as one of the top 10 institutions of eminence in the country. This has happened because of the contributions of our senior faculty members, many of them have super innovated and many of them are on the verge of super innovation. This is because of their contribution. But we have to see that how we can take forward that legacy. The need of excellence is not local, it is global that how can we sh make our presence felt globally and that will happen if we are able to develop forge collaborations international collaborations the demand of the institution of eminence program is that henceforth we need to have about 30 percent of students from abroad we need to have a lot of faculty from abroad and globalize ourselves, have a lot of collaborations. And this will be possible if we invite eminent persons like Professor Saroop, who is here today, to know what we are, what we are doing, and what kind of capabilities we have. This university has grown on very limited resources. And most of these resources have come by begging by a single determined individual, Pandit Madan Mohan Malviyaji. And therefore, 
all of us have no hesitation and should not have any hesitation in asking for help for a larger cause. Now, because of this past contributions, we have to now see that all of us set our targets and perform accordingly. The university and some of the senior faculty members have been trying hard to get the money for the university. And it is the responsibility of the younger faculty who have to make judicious and optimal utilization of these facilities. On behalf of the university, which consists of more than 130 departments, and on behalf of the Institute of Science, the Faculty of Science, which consists of about 14 academic units, departments, and schools and centers, I would like to welcome all of you, and especially Dr. Swaroop, for being here. And this hall, the Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences play, the venue, is the right venue for this kind of interactions. Because about 10 years ago, some of us, including Professor Lakotia, under his leadership, we tried to think about that how can we break the silos and come together and start work under one umbrella. And that is the Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences. We have been, we are grateful to the Department of Biotechnology for providing very generous support for creating this Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences. But the life has to be added in this Interdisciplinary School of Life Sciences. <coughs> and the life will come when the interdisciplinarity get promoted in its true sense. This interdisciplinarity will not only come from the life science departments, we need inputs, closer interaction from Department of Physics, Ayurveda, I'm very happy that faculty members from Ayurveda are here, uh, Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, Chemistry Department, all kind of disciplines have to shake hands with the life scientists. And then only this interspecies school of life sciences will come to life when we uh, develop these kind of uh, interactions. But these interactions should not be limited within the university. They have to go outside the university, within the country, and outside the boundaries of our nation. So with these words, the, you know, the, the, the kind of, uh, uh, I try to convey the sentiments of the university, the feeling of the university that we have to move forward and make our presence felt globally, make a mark there. And all of us have to join in this effort. And with this, I would once again like to welcome this initiative, Professor Dr. Mosmi Mutsuddi, of inviting and uh, taking lead in inviting uh, Dr. Anand Swaroop. And I hope that many such seminars and interactions will happen very frequently in this campus. And then uh, we will be probably marching ahead towards our goal of global excellence. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you. It's lovely to see the hall filled. And uh, this uh, talk, the guest lecture, is being organized uh, by Molecular and Human Genetics, ISLS, and the Ayurveda Network, which is supported by MHRD. Uh, first of all, I would uh, like to uh, welcome our guest, Dr. Swaroop, in whose lab I was a sabbat I did my sabbatical. I would also like to welcome our institute director who is really busy i know because professor balram is arriving and in spite of that he agreed to come and grace the occasion i would like to thank professor madhulika agarwal who has really supported us immensely to organize this uh, event and i would also like to have uh, so, uh, convey my gratefulness to the head, MAG, who's been always supportive. I would uh, heartily welcome the senior teachers, my revered sir, Professor Lakotia and Professor B.N. Singh, my colleagues and my dear students. And I would especially like to 
welcome Professor Yogendra Singh, who is the Dean of uh, Life Science, Delhi University. And I happen to know him because on several occasions when he was the head, I have been to DU as an examiner and we've had time to have lunch and interact. And another connection is uh, Ankur Bhatra, who was the topper in MHG and did his dissertation with me, happened to do his PhD with Professor Y. Singh at the time when he was in IGUP. And his wife, Nivedita, is currently a postdoc with Aran Sarup. So the world is really small. So today, going back to our uh, our guest speaker, Dr. Anand Swaroop, he's a senior investigator at the Neurobiology Neurodegeneration Repair Lab at NEI, NIH, uh, Bethesda. His group has contributed immensely to development of therapy for retinal damage, degeneration of photoreceptors, and he's been working in this field for almost two decades. My connection with Dr. Swarup goes back to 2012 and 2013 when I wanted to go on a sabbatical and this I decided when I read Jay Shanduri's paper on next generation sequencing and exome sequencing and I heard that his lab had embarked upon exome, whole genome and transcriptome analysis. So I wrote to him and as usual, Professor Sir, uh, Dr. Swarup is very, very prompt the next day, he immediately replied, and the reason were two. Number one, because I was working at Broad, and number two, I had a first author paper in American Journal of Human Genetics. So he said, yes, you're welcome to my lab, and, I, and it was a, a wonderful stay there. And uh, Dr. Swarup, basically, he did his PhD from Indian Institute of Science, following which he went to Yale University for his postdoc. He joined as an assistant professor in Michigan University in Human Genetics Department, and he was a full professor there, and he held the Harold F. Falls Collegiate Professorship. In 2007, Dr. Swarup moved to NIH to establish the Neurobiology, Neurodegeneration and Repair Lab at National Eye Institute for advancing research in all aspects of retinal biology. Dr. Swarup is a leader in the field of retinal and de uh, development and degeneration and has received many honors and accolades, including the Board of Directors Award for fo the Foundation Fighting for Blindness, Outstanding Research in 2006, and the Harrington Senior Scientific Award for Research to Prevent Blindness, the prestigious Alcan Award for Outstanding Vision research in 2012. In 2012, he was also selected as ARVO as a Gold Fellow for his services to the vision community. Dr. Swarup has published more than 350 peer-reviewed papers, and they are in Cell, Nature, Nature Genetics, PNS, American Journal of Human Genetics, H HMG, just to name a few. And uh, before I really move, I would just like to show a couple of slides during my visit. This is seven years back. And uh, I had Chilla, who was a graduate student, and she was very good at programming. And I, I, I was sort of training her to do the biology. And Abigail from Israel was also there. So this was the small group. Unfortunately, I don't have pictures of Rinky. And then uh, it was really a fruitful uh, stay at his lab because we published two papers in uh, uh, IOBS and one in human mutation within a year. And this was in collaboration with an Israeli group. And then again, this is the huge group which Dr. Swaroop leads. And you can see the senior people in the front row. Professor Swaroop is there, and then I'm there in the front. There are postdocs and other research students. So you can imagine what a massive lab he has. It's a mini factory. And it was a very, very wonderful experience spending a year because the chemistry of the lab is very important when it's such a large size and everyone is so helpful. And of course, 
along with work, I had the time to see the cherry blossoms in Washington. And of course, this is the picture where this is my favorite lunch given by the, my lab mates. So Dr. Swarup, thank you so much for letting me work for a year. And you'll be happy to know that we were the first one in the uh, university to do exome sequencing. And we have published also and identified variants. So we'll discuss about it later on. With this, I would like to invite today's speaker, Dr. Swarup, and I won't hold you all in between his talk. So thank you so much, and I welcome everyone.